The next person I'm going to call to the stage is a very, very humble individual. Unless somebody tells you that he is the council general, you wouldn't know him. His approach to people visiting the consulate is very, very helpful and professional. He is too good of an individual. I wanted to get some info to introduce the council general and I thought searching him on, not Google, LinkedIn. I would have never thought a council general would be on LinkedIn. And sure enough, I found his profile. And, and, I, and look what I found. His banner says, try to help facilitate and resolve issues of Pakistani community in Toronto and also represent Pakistan in Canada. Thank you for that. <laughs> this one sentence says it all. He has his BA, an MA from Punjab University, and his second master's in international relations from George Washington University, USA. Please welcome the star of today, Acting Council General of Pakistan, His Excellency Imran Ali. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> good morning. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, Khalid, uh, there can be only one star today, actually two. And uh, one are you, and the other is your worship, Mayor Skarpeti, sitting here. There is no Punjaj nahi hai kisi or star ke hone ki aapke uh, Worship, uh, <coughs> Minister Chan, Honorable Members of Parliament, <coughs> and dear members, of the Pakistani Canadian community. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, we, uh, you've been hearing about and reading about 23rd March 1914, the brochures there. Uh, I just want to tell you that the seven years from 40 to 47 were fought in legislatures. Pakistan was not fought on the streets. Ewano mein Pakistan ki jang ladi ki thi. Cabinet mission plan, Shimla, Shimla. Or her cheese constitutionally and legally we fought for Pakistan. It was a, later on a bloodbath took place, but all the fight for Pakistan was fought in legislatures and in laws. In 2008, if we, the ideals of Pakistan were a, a moderate uh, Muslim state. If we come to 2008, we were at crossroads. Those are Atman crossroads. We have had a war on our borders uh, for about 10 years, maybe 20 years. Puri tarikh mein, throughout Pakistan's history, we have been a small state caught up between big empires. <coughs> because of which, the constitutional and democratic path that Pakistan had to take was obstructed many a time. But thank God, since 2008 and today, 2012, the understructure of the state of Pakistan, the federal structure, it is still intact. It's, it's stronger. The present government, there are many critics of the present government, but it has structurally resolved Pakistan's problems, which had not been resolved for 60 years. Relationships between the center and the provinces and Canada, <coughs> Canada uh, knows all about that. So we took these four years to resolve them. The financial uh, distribution of resources between the center and the provinces. The interim setup when the next elections would take place next year. Or electronic voting. So while there you have seen this chaos in Pakistan, surreptitiously we are having, we are making fine progress in these fairs. And inshallah next year or later this year, the people of Pakistan will be voting for the first time for a democratic transition through a democratic process without any intervention. And now once the security of the democratic setup is imbibed in the system, that election when, when this is imbibed, then you can think of long-term beneficial measures for the people. Pakistan desperately needs good governance. Pakistan desperately needs long-term reform. I'd be amiss if I don't say that. But now, when your foundation is 
so the people of Pakistan will vote and maybe you will find all those dreams that we have, have long cherished. There are just two last things I want to say uh, to my great friends from the Canadian side. I just want to relate something to you. Uh, in the Pakistani community, they might not say so openly. There is some const consternation, sir, now on the fact that Pakistani spousal cases, uh, Pakistanis who marry people from other nationality, they are taking the longest in South Asia. Uh, we are friends of Canada. We would, I would implore all of you to look into this and see if we can find solutions. Maybe it's administrative. But there is this pervading feeling that it takes 26 months for a spouse to, uh, for a spouse to come, come to Canada. I'm sure there are, uh, it's not deliberate, but it's taking long, and I'm hearing a lot about, from the community about this. Where the Pakistani community is concerned, I want to say one thing that the Quran teaches us, Islam teaches us, two things. Humility. Humility means that when you are doing the land, you will not be able to do it. It is not necessary that you will be able to do it for the sake of winning, or you will be able to do it in a typical Punjabi style. We can win hearts by humility. And we can win hearts by introspection. If we have mistakes, then we need to have so much courage that we can get into our hearts. In the same way, the Pakistan state is also in our hearts. You know that because of the media, our foreign policy is being reviewed. Our relationship with a very, with a very powerful state down, with the US, is being recalibrated. And with that, Pakistan is thinking about what was its dream. Was it a welfare state or a national security state? So the people of Pakistan and the elite of Pakistan are coming to the conclusion that we did not actually want a national security state to be our ideal. We wanted a welfare state to be our ideal. These things are humility and introspection. So my message is this. Enjoy Canada. Learn from Canada. Long live Canada-Pakistan friendship. Pakistan friendship. Thank you, thank you Imran Zahab for such a positive message and I'm so happy uh, that you were able to also say things what we saw in the, in the movie. Um, I would like to recognize, uh, now that I see Mr. Mayor, Andy Taylor, the CEO of Markham is here. So Andy, please. <laughs>
language of love. That was the theme. So my dear friends, I just want you to make sure that you understand that is Pakistan. Not what you hear and see. Mr. Chairman, you take, take your next trade delegation.